Hello again YouTube and I'm back with an update video. I've installed a TED 5000G I believe or I'm sorry 5000 uh, 5002-G or uh, something like that. Basically it's the unit that comes with two uh, MTUs or measurement transmitting units and one gateway and uh, so I've installed it. You can see right here is, you know, this is my, my little TED device, the energy detective, and it's blinking, so it means it's transmitting. And in order, f in my particular setup, I had to install it uh, close to the box. Uh, that's my main uh, breaker panel right over there. And, and I had to install it close to it because, you know, I have a transfer switch and, and you know, when, I, when the switch is thrown uh, in like generator mode, um, I'm not really connected to the main panel, uh, so I had to, you know, do some other stuff in order to get it work. Just because of my specific configuration, I also had to uh, buy this Netgear. I got it from Best Buy. It's a Netgear uh, Ethernet or LAN extender, and what it does, it it basically plugs into the power outlet and it transmits this data. This is a gateway unit that comes with a TED device. And this TED device transmits the information through the power lines uh, or through this Ethernet con uh, connection um, to this particular extender here. There's another, uh, another device that looks exactly like this one next to my router plugged into the outlet. And so what happens is, you know, through the power lines, it transmits the information uh, to, through my router so I can look at the, uh, my energy usage in a web browser on my phone and it's on a tablet or on my on my computer um, so and this receives information from through the power lines from the uh, measurement transmission transmitting units um, the, the MTUs so it receives information through the power lines and then transmits the information through this Ethernet cable uh, to this device that transmits it through the power lines okay uh, to another device that looks similar to this one the, and through my router and I can get the information. The initial results uh, for my APS grid tie, micro grid tie inverter are promising. Um, I got 400 watts of panels connected to it and so far it's put out about 358 watts. So if you divide that by 400, you'll get about 89. So that's about 89% efficiency. And um, I mean, but you see, the, today is a cloudy day and it's, you know, it was raining and the sun is in and out, so to speak. So um, I'm, I'm looking for, you know, even maybe even maybe even higher results on a, on a more sunny day. But this is cloudy and again, the sun is in and out and there's also, you know, effects you can get from the clouds as well. So, uh, so, but so I say the initial results are promising as far as the APS micro grid tie inverter but anyway this TED unit um, is outstanding um, it's awesome I, would I recommend it absolutely it will tell you things about your energy usage that you had no clue about how you know like for instance the fact that your refrigerator runs more than you want it to um, and these vampire loads you think everything's turned off uh, <laughs> yeah right this unit this TED unit will tell you <laughs> Uh, if things are truly turned off and you know and so forth but it's a good unit is it worth the money yes this TED unit is worth the money and I installed it myself I'm, I am not a licensed le electrician and you know I'm, I'm nowhere near as an electrician but you know I you know I, I, I install I read the instructions and I was careful and I installed it myself um, I had two again two uh, MTUs or measurement transmission transmitting units I installed one measurement transmission uh, transmitting unit in this main breaker here. Um, again, this is my main. These are all my mains here, and on the other side is a measurement uh, measurement transmission unit. But, you know, and I also installed um, again. This is the gateway, and I also installed a, a measurement transmission unit. Um, on the back side of here, uh, on these, on these, on this breaker right here, on the on the two legs of this breaker, this the two poles. So, um, and right now I'm, I'm here to tell you, I I already like it. I love it. It's it's a great unit, and I would recommend it for anyone um, to to truly understand 
what your house is doing as far as energy. So here I calculate, I can get the data as far as information coming in from my grid ties. On the other one, I can actually uh, see the inf uh, energy information as far as my interaction with the uh, utility, okay, how much I'm using. And it's working as advertised. You know, I had to, because of my setup here, I had to kind of figure out, you know, what's the best approach as far as putting them in, you know, putting them in play, uh, you know, installing them. Uh, but after, you know, after a while, I, you know, I figured it out and it's working fine. I mean, units like this, this kilowatt meter, it is perfect for individual, um, you know, uh, energy monitoring as far as for a particular appliance or device. But for a whole house, I, def I definitely recommend the TED. I, it's the energy detective. And the one that I have, again, it is a 5002-G, I, I believe. A 5002-G. And the difference between it and the others is it comes with two uh, MTUs and a gateway as opposed to the one MTU and a gateway. And, um, you know, the software to monitor your energy uses is embedded in the gateway. You know, let's go back out here and take a look at it. Um, this unit right here actually has a web browser built in, uh, not a web browser, but a web server built in. And so uh, this basically talks to on my network. It has an IP address a, a, or a network address. And I go to that network address and I pull up the web page and it tells me what's going on with, with either one of my uh, MTUs or again, my measurement transmit, transmitting units that come with the system. And all I can say is it, it's well worth the money and uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Uh, I got the 5002-G because I have two different power sources. I have one coming from the grid and I have another coming from solar panels. And this, the 5002-G um, is, uh, is, is geared for people that are doing wind or solar and they need to measure uh, you know their grid interaction whether it's coming from you know the utility and uh, their alternative energy sources But anyway, that's just an update you to take care